You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 27 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we have uh, a lot of things to talk about. You, we do. Yeah, there's a very uh, interesting... A uh, lot, lot, lot going on in the world of wrestling right now. Yes. I mean, obviously, we're just going to focus on WWE right now, but there yeah. is a lot going on in the world of wrestling. Uh-huh. And, um, a lot of head scratching. Well, there's that. And a lot of positivity. Or yeah. some positivity. Not a lot. Some. Um, I mean, you know, a lot of it's based on perception. Yeah. And, like, what they could do versus what they will do. and Yeah, and, I mean, I don't know. Wrestling is very weird, and the WWE as a whole, they're trying to cater to a huge audience. It's true. And everybody's not going to like everything on the show. That's That's, just the way it is. It is true. You're trying to cater to your casuals. You're trying to cater to your hardcore fans. You're trying to cater to creepy guys that, like, to walk in on women getting changed. You know, I mean, you got to cater to everybody, I guess. That wasn't on the Hulu version. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> what was it? Oh, it was really weird because I guess, I don't know if the guy was bringing Alexa a glass of water. Uh-huh. So I believe that's what was in his hand, but he knocks on the door. No answer. So he goes in and Alexa has like her hand over a shirt over her chest Uh and was like what the hell are you doing in here as she was getting changed oh that's it yeah that's weird that's really weird yeah no because i assumed it was like a wrestling thing no yeah it (laughs) didn't make any sense it was very i thought it was awkward it just didn't make sense but i guess they're trying to do edgy stuff well it's clearly what they're trying to do if you watch smackdown well it's funny because Last week on Impact, mm. we had Scarlett. She was going to do her strip show or whatever. Uh-huh. Scott Steiner comes out. Oh, God. Sits in the ring in a chair, and she gives him a lap dance, so to speak. Uh-huh. And she was just in, you know, like a bra and panties, you could call it. Uh-huh. And, you know, they were saying this is going to be old new edgy and stuff like that. Mm. So it kind so of they're trying continued to... on Raw and SmackDown. It was just very strange. That is weird. I mean, you know, not... To say that things, have, I mean, things have obviously changed a lot in the last twenty years uh, since it happened. A little bit, but I mean, this stuff wasn't anything to get worked up about. Oh no, you know, I no. mean, well, nothing about it isn't technically well, considered PG. Yeah, well, yeah, but I mean, here's the thing: this is an entertainment show. Mm-hmm. People are all playing roles here. It's like sitting down to watch. A TV show, a mm-hmm. movie, things like that. It's not like it's real life. And, it's true. You know, I don't know. Oh, it's yeah. just weird. Yeah. See, and that that's the thing that I have, you know, I guess I have a problem myself deciphering things. Like, with the whole Nia Jax, Alexa Bliss, the bullying storyline, I didn't like how they, you know, were bringing real life issues into it. Mm-hmm. But on the other hand, like on SmackDown with Daniel Bryan and the whole angry vegan thing, Mm -hmm. I like it because they're bringing something he's, you know, it brings his character. It's just so weird and I don't know, but I guess that's just human nature. You can... You can't like everything. Right, exactly. It's true. And that's really what... And also, the bullying thing is a negative um, where they're kind of embracing things that Daniel Bryan does Mm. in... Like, they're kind of spinning it in a bad way, but right. at the same time, they're showing a guy who's very passionate about right. what he believes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and they are conveying a, some positive because they're getting information out there to people that it's true. might not have known things. Yeah, because so. technically speaking, the heel Daniel Bryan is just trying to, I guess, educate the masses. Right. So while he's the bad guy, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's doing bad things. It's true. Very strange. Weird. All right, since we talked about the Alexa segment on Raw, Uh let's move over to the Mandy Rose segment on SmackDown. Yeah. And all right, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I've enjoyed this angle. Uh It's ridiculous. It is. And there's things that are absolutely nonsensical, Uh like the fact that a photographer came in and shot a picture of them while they're being recorded for a TV show. Yep. You know, shit like that. It's like... Yeah, well, it's like... That's the, it's like the camera for SmackDown isn't the video evidence right. the paparazzi yeah. guy is. <laughs> like, it makes no sense. Right, right, right. Yeah, and, I mean, this is all, 
uh, what did Mandy send Jimmy a box with a rose in it, right? Said, yeah. here's my hotel key. Come to my hotel room. Mm-hmm. Jimmy, you know, he was with Jay at the time. And they were like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Which is kind of stupid. You just ignore it. Or you could have done what a lot of people said and send your brother twins. That would be... (laughs) Honestly, I figured that's what they were going to do. It would have made sense. It would have made sense. But he goes there. He Mandy does his thing. And she, you know, Jimmy thinks it's about him. Mandy goes, no, I just want to ruin your wife's life, basically. (laughs) So dumb. So Jimmy leaves. Naomi comes in. Then they fight. And yeah. Mandy Rose Mandy gets, Rose the, best gets the best of her. <laughs> so, I mean, like, there was a positive in that, you know, Jimmy stuck by his wife and, you know, let her fight But Mandy, at the same but time, the same... it makes no sense, anything. Because if if Naomi kicked the crap out of her, it would kind of make sense. Mm. If they did something else with it, like continued, right. it would make sense. But they kind of ended it, but they didn't end it. Yeah. So, I don't know. And, I mean, I can't imagine the payoff would be them having a match at no. the Rumble. I the, mean, the you know. The worst it would probably be would be, like, a confrontation during the Rumble. Yeah, maybe that's what it's going to. Or, like, and then, Naomi gets taken out by Mandy before she enters. But, I mean, it's going to lead to Naomi getting the best of Mandy. Absolutely. That's the good guy. It's good, or yeah. The good girl in this scenario is going to go over. That that would be my guess. Um. But, but, you know... Was, all in all, ridiculous. Well, yeah, but that's the nature of pro wrestling. I like it. I like I, Mandy Rose. And yeah, she does, I, I she's thought, acted very well in the... Yeah, you acting, know... acting, I should say, was good in the whole thing. Yeah, no, yeah, it was. It was um, yeah, she's yeah, confident in so. everything. So mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. complete opposite of Naomi. Wow. <laughs> Which is fine, because Naomi's supposed to be, like the emotional, angry person in this situation, so it kind of makes sense. They had the baby face element into it, and yeah. uh, clear as day yep. for your so. current day uh, baby face. Mm-hmm. It's true. So we had a new IC champion crowned on Raw. Yeah. Triple threat. I couldn't believe it. No. Yeah. Dean Ambrose, Bobby Lashley, Seth Rollins. Mm-hmm. Bobby Lashley, huh? Of all people. You know, I mean... I'm fine with this because Lashley needed to be the one to be elevated in this whole thing. Oh, yeah. Dean and Seth don't need yeah. an IC title. No, no. That was just a waste um, yeah. mm-hmm. to have that thrown into the mix. The only thing that this really does is free Seth from the IC title. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Yep. And uh, beginning of Raw, we find out that Braun <laughs> no longer gets his shot yep. at Brock Lesnar's Universal Championship yep. at Royal Rumble. Um, so dumb. Yeah. He, so uh, what? Corbin try like tells him that he should be the universal champion, or he said he was gonna win the rumble or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. And then Braun like chases him into the back. Elias is like just sitting there and sings a song, telling. But that was perfect. Yeah, it, it flowed. It really. It, they did a good job yeah. in this opening segment, and it continued throughout the the whole show. I mean, the next match wasn't great, but no, you know. Um, so, but yeah, Corbin, or Corbin's hiding in the limo, Braun gets him, breaks the door off the limo, and then, uh, Corbin runs away, and Vince walks over, it's his limo, and he's, like, looking at him, he's like, has nothing, he's got no words, they go to commercial, they come back, and then Vince is like, I'm gonna find you a hundred thousand dollars. This piece of crap's not worth a hundred thousand dollars. He's not wrong. So, uh, and then Braun just flips the limo over, Mm -hmm. and then Vince tells him he doesn't have his title shot anymore. Yep. So, my immediate thought was, okay, I guess Braun's still hurt. Right, right. Um, But I don't know if that's necessarily the case. I think I heard that this was going to be scrapped from the beginning. Beginning, yeah, 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 because they don't want Braun to lose again. Yeah, which (laughs) makes a lot of sense. Um, I guess that would suggest that Finn's going to lose, but, you know, if they were smart... They would yeah. just give Finn a good opponent right. for WrestleMania. It's true. Well, so this <laughs> turned into, obviously, we don't have an opponent for Brock. Yeah. Vince goes out there. Then we had, what, Cena come out, say he deserves it. Then McIntyre come out, he deserves it. Mm. Corbin comes out, he deserves it. And then Finn comes out. So Vince decides, you know, we got a lot of meat in the ring. as he? Uh... <laughs> well, I was going to say, that segment was really good. Because Cena came out, he set the set the tone perfectly, because he reminded Vince that he was the one who stuck by him mm-hmm. when The Rock and everybody Austin left. And, every, and Lesnar even. <laughs> yeah, well, it was, it was good that he included Lesnar, though. Um, 
And then it really looked like Vince was having a good time because uh, John Cena was really getting his blood pumping. Yeah. Um, and then, like you said, McIntyre came out and he was he's been kind of feuding with yeah, Cena, but she was his chosen one years back. It's true. So Vince was elated throughout this whole segment. Yeah. I don't know about Corbin, but <laughs> and, well, obviously he likes him because he uses him so much. Yeah, and it's so strange. But I mean. Like, if they kept Corbin in a role like this without him wrestling, because him in this Fatal 4-Way didn't really make any sense. No. But. I, I think you can't have him around without him being a mm-hmm. wrestler, though. I guess that is true. Because You're obviously, paying him for that. <laughs> well, that too, but just the fact that him, like, they don't want to do the authority figures anymore, and obviously it didn't really work with him anyway. Um, but you need to have, like... Like an upper mid card guy who's literally there just to make other people look good. Yeah. yeah. So, because it doesn't matter heel or face, if they're beating up Corbin, they're getting over. It's true. So it's kind. It's kind of like <laughs> a true. good, a good place for him to be. Yeah. Because he's got job security, mm-hmm. and he's got good heat, so that he's gonna, they're gonna look at that positively. Yeah. So. Um. But yeah, he, he's 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 where he should be. I guess that's fair. Um, and then when Finn came out, uh, there was a whole lot of truth getting thrown out mm-hmm. into the air where Finn said that Vince never believed in right. him. And, and he told everybody that they didn't know what it was going to be like because he's the only one that's been universal champion before. It's true. Um, and then Vince is like, oh, like you said, there's a lot of beef <laughs> going around in this ring. And I don't know if you can handle all the beef. So I'm like, he's talking about beef a whole lot here. It's kind of strange. <laughs> He's a strange man. Um, it's true. So uh, we had a fatal four-way main event. Winner mm-hmm. takes on Brock at the Rumble. Yep. A little later on, Ginger's casually walking backstage. This was very confusing. Uh, I, I don't know. I think this was Vince screwing up. Yeah, probably. So he goes, I want, I want to get a shot at the Universal title. And Vince goes, well, if you can beat one of the people in the fatal four-way, You'll you take- can have their spot at, in the Royal Rumble. Right. <laughs> And I'm like, that's kind of weird. Like, I guess it makes sense because... Well, the thing is, is that I guess... Yeah, I guess that didn't make Virginia sense. Virginia was already confirmed for the Royal yeah, Rumble. Right. That's why it didn't make uh, any sense. Fair enough. Um, so he picks Finn Balor, obviously. Um, yeah, they kind of uh, showcased that we knew who was going to end up winning this match. Yeah. So Finn obviously wins. But it, they, they made it seem like if Jinder won, he was going to take... The winner of the Fatal Four Ways match in the Royal Rumble. Yeah. So it didn't matter if Finn won or whoever. It didn't matter if whoever he faced won because whoever won the Fatal Four Ways is not going to be in the Rumble anyway. Right. Yeah. yeah so yeah. he can automatically <clears throat> take their spot regardless. Yeah. So, like you said, it was probably Vince messing up the line. Yeah. 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 Saying you could take their spot in the Fatal Four Ways. Yeah. Because there was chatter that he originally didn't want to come back and be on television, but I guess he oh, realized. Vince? Yeah. That but makes he realized sense. how. Uh, dire the company was for ratings or better ratings um it's he's what he's doing is working oh yeah but i don't think they needed him to no i think they could have successfully transitioned away from it Mm -hmm. without it could have just been the mcmahon's behind the scenes yeah Yeah. like they didn't need him to be on tv no and it's fine i honestly would prefer to see triple h no well it, the but, only problem with that is he ends up inserting himself into. That's what I was gonna say. The only <laughs> thing I would I would imagine that there's a chance. Well, he's hurt, right? He's, I, he's got that torn. Oh, pack, oh yeah, yeah, from uh, Greatest Royal, not Greatest Royal Rumble, the Crown Jewel. Yeah. So no, it was World Cup. Yes, that's right. Uh, Braun who, called it World Braun, Cup. <laughs> World Cup. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, uh, but I would imagine that the reason why they're keeping Triple H off TV, like he's been on here and there, but he's yeah. been on the. Well, him and Stephanie have been on the yeah, leagues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Shane's on SmackDown every week still, and Vince has been on both. Shane's the golden boy of SmackDown. He, he really is. And a birthday celebration. Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> something else. So I, I would imagine oh, that's boy. why they're keeping Triple H away, is to have him do a storyline soon. Probably. But who knows? Yeah. It is surprising that Stephanie's I mean, not on TV more. You know what? A- and, it's fine. And they had Alexa announce the tag titles, not her. Yeah. Yeah. That was different. Yeah, so we're going to get that. There's going to be, what, three teams from Raw and three teams from SmackDown in the Elimination Chamber. And we already know who's going to win, so and it doesn't matter. 
Possibly. Um, yeah, because it's going to be Sasha and Bailey. Well, we don't know that yet. Well, oh, yeah, because Sasha's goal is to be a double champion. And she said that? Yeah, I think so. On sure. Social media. But yeah, Sasha like and Bailey. Um, it's going to be. The Riot Squad. I guess so. Um, and then. Naya and Tamina? Yeah, I guess that would make the most sense. Or you could have. The unbeatable duo. <laughs> well, technically speaking, if Alexa is cleared before then, she could go with Mickey. Yeah, probably. I, who knows? I, I think. She's, I think she said she was on her way to being cleared. I think, yeah, they said yeah. she's cleared. All right, so SmackDown side will be the Iconics. Yeah, Iconics, um, um, Mandy and Sonya, and then, mm-hmm. um, what, Naomi and Carmella? I know it doesn't make any sense, but they yeah, don't have It'll be some else. sort of variation. It all depends where Asuka lands. That's true. If she's not champion, I guess could she could be with Naomi. Oh, Naomi and Asuka again, yeah. Yeah. But, uh... You know it'd be really funny? Hmm. If somehow at the end of, like, the nonsense that's going on in SmackDown, Naomi and Mandy Rose end up being tag- tagging together for You know what? It, it would... Oh, God. Beer everywhere. My bad. That's all right. Okay. Um. <laughs> anyway, so, um... It has a, all dirty. wasn't the first time, or it wouldn't be the first time something like that happened. No, it wouldn't be. That's for sure. Um, yeah. Way to go. Mm-hmm. Do you have any <laughs> napkins or anything down here? Um, yeah. Where? I don't know. They're on the table. Oh, yeah, that's don't right. worry. I'll just be back. No, I, it's bothering me. Is it? Yes. How bad is it? No, I'm fine. I'm just saying the fact that... Oh, I, you weren't the person I was worried about. It's my precious carpet. Carpet's a person? Yes. All right, so we had the Lucha House Party versus the Revival once again. Woo! Yes, we know. Everybody was very excited to see this. Mm -hmm. Uh, However, the Revival ended up going over this time. Which is a surprise. Yes, I mean, granted, technically it wasn't clean because... uh, (laughs) Who is it? Uh, Grand Metalik had his foot on the rope, and I think Dash Wilder outside the ring knocked it off, and uh, Scott Dawson picked up the victory. Mm -hmm. But uh, apparently, rumor is right now that the uh, Revival may have asked for their release. Yeah, well, they had their FTR thing on their shorts, which is now apparently stands for Free the Revival. So... Are you all sticky? Oh, yeah. It's bad. <laughs> it's horrible. So, um, but yeah, that's that's what I'm... On the keyboard, too? Yeah. Well, it didn't get in the keys. It's just on the, the flat part, so we're all right. Oh, um, man. But, yeah. Hope everybody out there is enjoying this. Maybe. Who knows? I know I laugh at my own stupidity. Hey, somebody's got it. It's true. Even if it is yourself. Um, but, yeah, the revival, there's two things that could happen here. They leave... Go to AEW, have, live happily ever after. Mm-hmm. Or, this is a big work. They've been, like, burying them on purpose, and all of a sudden they're going to come out of nowhere and be the top tag team in the entire WWE. Like, I, I'm, it's not out of the realm of possibility. I could definitely see it happening. Absolutely capable of doing it, mm-hmm. too. So, who knows? But the tag division on Raw is... Abysmal. <laughs> I uh, almost asked who the tag team champions abysmal. were. Well, it's funny because, what was it, last week when uh, the Revival got screwed out of the tag titles mm-hmm. and there wasn't a single mention of it this week on the show, right? Well, that was the whole reason why they did what they did. Yeah. It was kind of a reference to it. And that's why true. they had the match. Oh, okay. They yeah, said yeah. that... Um, they had a confrontation. No, they came out. They said it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's right. right. Yeah, yeah, you guys saw you guys, what happened well, to us, yeah, but, but you, you didn't, didn't say do, anything. I, I didn't mean in that aspect. I meant that we're going to get end up getting another rematch. Well, that's not what this was for. No. This was like I mean, a grudge match. Yeah, I guess so. So. Fine. And that means Fine. that the tag team champions weren't mentioned at all. Yes. During the, that's uh, the show. That's more or less what I was yeah. getting at. Mm. Um, we saw Nikki Cross... I don't. You can't really say debuting because they're going to show up on both shows. We were told and it's then, a soft debut. Yeah, yeah. Even though she was on SmackDown once before, but that was when they were in the UK. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So before that happened, during the tag team match mm-hmm. with um, 
the revival and Lucha House Party. Mm. They had every a bunch of superstars standing outside Vince's office. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they wanna they want a chance at Lesnar. Right. But we already said what happened. But well, anyway. No, 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 no. That's not the point okay. I'm getting to. All right, all right. So they have this in the picture in picture during the tag match. And oh, EC3 yeah, is just stand, standing there. Like he was about to be interviewed. Yeah, and, and then, then he, he doesn't <laughs> say a word. And then they cut back to the full screen of the, the tag match. Oh, I'm like, boy. Seriously, that's how you're going to introduce a character? Yeah. And then they did it on SmackDown, but he was just looking into a mirror. Yeah, but at that point, they had already... Because this was before Michael Cole had said... Cause oh, hey, he said three. No, well, uh, Corey Graves said that. Oh, okay. But during when Nikki came out for the oh, tag gotcha. team match... Michael Cole said that the people are going to be appearing on both shows mm. at, and because we don't know where they're going yet. Without that, I guess, um, like information, oh, okay. you, can be like, you just think debut? that that's his debut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because that should have happened afterwards. Yes, yes. Or like said it at some point over the last, I don't know, two months when mm -hmm. they've been airing the promos for this these six people that yep. ha just started making their it's true actual tv debuts um we forgot to talk about during the uh women's tag title announcement at the moment of bliss with the uh we got to see otis yeah, from heavy machinery hilarious um yeah i don't know uh, if they're going <clears throat> the festus route with this or yeah. uh because he was going nuts and, and he then, seemed to have liked Alexa, Alexa Bliss. And then we saw him on SmackDown drinking some weird oh. tuna protein mix. <laughs> it had e like raw eggs, like oh shell and all. <laughs> yeah, packaged tuna, and it was like protein mix and stuff. And he drinks some of it, and then Becky walks over, and then she drinks it. Oh, it's a little weak. Yeah. I'm like, that guy who worked that eats the oh. tuna out of the can, and he put. Uh, what was it Caesar dressing or whatever in it? Uh huh. But the Caesar dressing was sitting like out for uh -huh. like days and days, and I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be refrigerated as soon as you open. I was it. gonna say it's refrigerate after opening. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's gross. It, it was gross because there's anchovies in Caesar dressing, and that's okay. That's bad. I did not know that. But you did no. Ah, yeah, there is. Interesting. Yeah. See, learn something new every day. Yeah, that's uh, that's gross. It is. He's a gross guy, so uh, I guess that makes I can't sense. Can't say I'm surprised. I guess that makes sense. Um, um, but yeah, that was that was hilarious. All right, so let's talk about something here: Balor versus Lesnar, uh -huh. Rumble. Um, if it's Man Balor versus Brock, we Guaranteed can write him loss. off easily. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, Beast versus um, Demon. Demon. I think they should have him win. Balor, that is. Mm -hmm. Um, will they? Well, Who knows? The thing with that is if you have Balor go over here, obviously this will have, you probably have the Royal Rumble as the main event again. I hope so. They should. And then that'll just, there's so many op possibilities and opportunities mm -hmm. at that point. Because if AJ doesn't win his match against Daniel Bryan, you could have him enter the Rumble, end up winning it and challenge Finn. He can have a rematch at WrestleMania. That'd be cool. Um, I, cause I think if Brock is the universal champion, Seth is going to face him yeah. at WrestleMania. It, when uh, AJ faced Finn, that was Man Bauer or was that Demon? No, it was Demon. It was Demon, yeah. yeah, yeah because yeah. he was supposed to face Bray. That's right. <laughs> yep. Could have gotten Sister Abigail. We almost did. Almost did. <laughs> Haven't um, seen him since. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we have, but you know what I mean. Uh, I think that's about it for Yeah, that's... Raw. That's generally raw, yeah. but I mean, it'll be interesting the way they <clears throat> end up booking it. What, you mean the Royal Rumble? No, 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 the Bray, uh, Bray. Brock versus Finn. Well, the good news is there's only one week. It's true. It's so, so nice. Yeah. So nice. Because mm -hmm. all it's going to be is Heyman's going to come out and say, I hear, if they're going to do the demon thing, mm -hmm. I hear about this demon, blah, blah, blah. You mean Lesnar's not going to be walking no. around going, demon king? No, believe it or not, <laughs> Lesnar will not be doing that. Lesnar probably won't be on uh, Raw next week. Nope. Um, so it's going to be Heyman, and he's going to come out, Balor come out and saying that uh, there is a demon inside of me, and you'll see him at the Royal Rumble. Mm. And that's it. And it's going to be one week, one good promo from Heyman. Yeah. One good response from Finn, 
And that's it. <clears throat> and it's going to so be you, nice. I mean, the, when is, you know, we don't know when Balor's contract is up, right? Probably not for a no, while. Yeah. No. I don't know if this is a, a push because of, you know, any type of implication with him defecting or anything like that. I think any outsider or any any anybody who's signed with the WWE mm. within the last five years that has connections they're petrified of losing yeah i guarantee it him aj even daniel bryan but he seems to be locked in yeah I, yeah i would um, assume he'd signed probably a decently long term not that contract. that really means anything no that's they could true. always release them yeah but then you have a whole neville situation on your hands and that was th but the difference is neville walked out yeah he didn't they, yeah, there was no mutual yeah, 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 yeah it's true yeah there was nothing mutual about that yes um, like Talk. with with Austin Aries, he was granted his release. Right. No. It seemed like there was. Uh, he just burns it, bridges everywhere. But, he goes. but that's that's the thing. Though. No, no, no. I know what you're getting. He at. He did it the correct yeah. way. Yeah. Whereas Neville just flat out no showed, and then they eventually released yep. him. Um. So I think that they're not going to willingly release anybody. No, 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 no. Um. Except for possibly the revival. Because obviously they've proven they don't know what to do with that. Um, but yeah, Balor, AJ. Um, I wonder what the club's going to do. They they would be a big loss. They really need to do something with them. Um, you got, uh, like, even Joe, technically. Because <laughs> I'd be okay with losing him. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Oh, man. Well, it's funny because, I mean, and this will bring us into SmackDown, is there was a lot of rumors going around that Andrade, Cien Almas, now just Andrade, that is what he is known as. They dropped the rest of it. They did? Yes. I didn't even notice mm -hmm. that. That's what he was advertised as. Uh, I don't like that because I call him Almas. I don't even call him Andrade. There you go. Uh, but apparently he wasn't happy, and then all of a sudden... I, 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 can you blame him? No, no. But I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah. he wasn't happy, and that all of a sudden he's getting victories over Rey Mysterio. That's true. And they put on a fantastic match. They really did. They gave this time. Uh huh. I mean, we got through a couple commercial breaks. Normally, this match would have been like five minutes long. Um, they've been letting those matches go. Usually, Andrade's been getting some. Some decent TV time when he's had his matches. AJ, Daniel Bryan, right? Yeah, I, I guess think. that's yeah. fair. Yeah, yeah he, they gave him time. Um, but no, they put on a hell of a match. Yeah, it was very good. Um, a lot of... Uh, that Hurricane Rana to the outside. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, like, counters that were, like, moves that worked last week but didn't work this week. Mm -hmm. That was cool. Like when uh, Andrade caught the 619 mm -hmm. he did the i don't remember the crucifix yeah oh yeah, or something yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. That. no 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 ray mysterio yeah countered. no no oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he countered into yeah, yeah. that it's such like they did a really good job with it mm -hmm. because like recently or not recently i should say over the summer when tessa faced uh madison rain she also sold the the crucifix bomb the same way and it looks like you dropped down straight on a neck uh -huh. which is what andrade did it looked because you're facing the opposite direction from yeah. the hard camp. Mm -hmm. And, uh, no, they just, they really uh, did a hell of a job. Andrade ended up going over when Ray was going up top. Selena got on the apron. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the heels still went over, not in super, super clean fashion. Yeah. Still a little, you know, uh, a well, you screwy gotta finish. got to protect Mysterio. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. And that's that's the way to do it. I know people, were, you know, you have a fantastic match like this, and then you throw a victory like that in there. And people get upset, no, but it makes why. sense. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Made to sense to me. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, get it. Um, I, I kind of I like what they did with Oscar and Becky in the beginning. Mm -hmm. they, you know, well, Becky, they're making look like a badass. Well, I mean, it's all you know. One of you spoke weeks about back about random matches happening just for competition. Well, if you have things like this happening where you're trying to best the other person, oh, yeah. it makes sense. Yeah. So Becky took on Peyton of the Iconics. Mm -hmm. She beat her. All of a sudden, Asuka's screaming in <laughs> Japanese. No one's understanding what's going on. All of a sudden, yeah. Billy Kay gets in the ring. Well, now, no, Asuka, no. Asuka oh. follows them out. Oh, that's right. She They're grabbed, going to leave. Yeah, yeah. She <laughs> grabs right. Billy Kay, throws her in the ring. The ref's like, oh, I guess we're having a match. <laughs> Rings the bell. 
And then uh, Oscar makes short work of Billy Kay. Uh-huh. Granted, Billy Kay and Peyton are two totally separate wrestlers that yeah. uh, I would say are on different experience levels. Mm. But you know, yeah, they got accomplished what they set out to do. It's true. And then we finished with uh, Oscar and Becky staring each other down. All of a sudden, AJ comes out. And, you know, I, I don't know. This is this just was a weird. weird. Yeah, it was. AJ timely. comes out, walks around the ring, jumps into the stands, goes up the stairs. Basically, the reverse of what Daniel Bryan did uh, last Monday. Cuts the commercial. Yeah, that's right. That was the best part. And Corey Graves goes, "Oh, I hope I fu- we find out what's going on after this." And then it cuts the commercial. I'm like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I really do, too, because that would be terrible storytelling if you just had AJ Styles come out and <laughs> circle the arena. Yeah. yeah. So, so him and uh, Daniel Bryan foot backstage, right? Well, it was in the concourse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They did the opposite of because AJ was like for the people and he was giving away shirts and stuff. And hot dogs. And then, uh, <laughs> then Daniel Bryan comes out of the crowd, starts beating him up. <clears throat> but Daniel Bryan doesn't end up like successfully getting... Yeah, so that was weird. But yeah, well, whatever. Um, we had Shane's birthday celebration. We did. <clears throat> How do you feel about this? Uh, I thought it was good. I have no problem. I with thought it. it was pretty funny. I mean, it was ridiculous. Yeah, oh, it was ridiculous. I didn't really pay attention to the Miz versus Sheamus. Oh, because, yeah. Well, Miz was wrestling in a suit. That's true. That was like really the biggest yeah. thing. Um. But yeah, no, it was funny because Shane was getting like all emotional at one point. Yeah, the best like, when I was when I was a little kid, I always wanted to be a tag team champion. My original partner was gonna be Andre, but mm-hmm. I'm glad to call you my partner. That's true. Getting a little choked up there. Mm-hmm. No, I mean it, it was it was good. Yeah, it was funny. Like like the Miz is a total dork. He really is. Yeah, but <laughs> it's it's nice seeing him in a baby face role. Yeah, because he he's just so good in general. It doesn't matter if he's being a jerk. Or Shane will being... be the one to turn heel. Yeah. That. Even though <laughs> Shane will be presented as the face. <laughs> Probably. It doesn't matter. Probably. Yeah. I mean, it's it's inevitable. Yeah. Um, but it's nice to see Shane like look invested in the tag team. Yeah. Um, the bar are doing a good job of just being, you know, annoying, I guess. Why weren't we invited to this birthday celebration? You didn't even invite Vince to this celebration. That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, man. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, the Miz actually beats Sheamus. He mm-hmm. rolls him up. <clears throat> Cesaro goes through one of the cakes. Yep. I didn't understand why, because Miz got two cakes. He was sure to mention that during like so the likes, celebration. Shane likes chocolate and vanilla, yeah, right? Some, something like that. So one of the cakes was on the entrance side, and then the other cake was on the commentator side. So I'm like, oh, I guess there's two different people going through cake mm. tables. So Cesaro goes through the one by the entrance. And then Seamus just gets rolled up after that yep. because he gets distracted. And then what does he grab? The other cake and then does the coast to coast? Yeah, Miz grabs the cake, puts it on top <clears> of Seamus. <throat> cake side out, which didn't make any sense <laughs> to me. So Shane ends up kicking the cake and gets it all over him. <laughs> Cardboard hits it. Yeah. So oh, Seamus is barely affected boy. by anything, but now Shane has cake all over him. Oh, man. Yeah, it was, uh, it was special. <laughs> yeah, I mean, SmackDown was all types of interesting. It was very... But again, trying to cater to a whole bunch of people. Yes, That's it w- really what it was. They, they changed the formula quite a bit. Um, they had Joe walking to the ring, and oh, EC3 yeah. was sitting in the back posing in front of a mirror. Well, he was supposed to have a match with uh, Ali. Yes, and then he just ended up attacking him. Yeah. But... It's Which just we'll like, probably get that next week. Yeah, but it's just the way that they were like presenting things. Mm-hmm. It's it was weird. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Ali's his selling is absolutely top notch. Yeah, um, and you know you keep building up the baby face angle. He'll. Uh, I was gonna say he's a very good sympathetic baby face. Yeah, so. absolutely, and I think that's probably the direction they're going. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense. Um, I think we were originally supposed to get Carmella versus uh, Sonia Deville. Carmella versus somebody. I yeah, I think it was Sonia. That. So it was, that would that would make sense. So eventually, yeah, it's weird that they, that's gonna end up happening. I, I know some, one of them mentioned it on social media. Yeah, I remember seeing that as well. Because originally, weeks back, it was Mandy versus Naomi that had gotten cut, right? Yeah. And mm-hmm. then they built this whole thing out of it. Yeah. So, 
But you know, a lot of stuff happening, and usually we can't say that week to week. It's true. In WWE, yeah. and it was a nice change. Yeah. Um, I thought I I enjoyed both shows. Yeah. Uh, but you know, I mean, there's a sense of possible competition, so you gotta it's, step up your game. Oh yeah, at, at this point, yeah, you kind of need. You to... have everything in your. Mm-hmm favor yeah, you the have the viewers everything court. yeah is yeah. there you have the talent mm-hmm. you just need to utilize it. yeah you have the you know everything is mm-hmm. yeah it's true i mean it'll be interesting to see the way things play out uh if aew does have a tv deal lined up and everything like that because i mean jericho signing is a huge thing and i think he said that you know if they didn't have a tv deal lined up i probably wouldn't have signed well it's true because at that point he's kind of just wasting his time yeah yeah because at because if if they don't have a like a a platform they're just doing house shows yeah and at that point what's the right right right. and they've been claiming for what competitive rates yeah so you can't do that if you don't have TV. no yeah yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah well i'm jericho said it was the best contract he's ever signed so well, I feel like Jericho... But he's never been the num- the guy. I was going to say, know? I feel like Jericho, especially after his first run, um, he probably didn't really ask for a whole lot yeah. because he had a lot going on. And he wasn't... I don't think he was necessarily... He was probably a full-time, but like not like oh, yeah, the main yeah, yeah. event. No, no, no. He was never the guy. Yeah. I mean, granted, he was the first undisputed champion. But... Yeah, but that didn't mean anything. No, I know. Because that was more of a vehicle to get... Um, like, I guess, Triple H more over, right? Yeah. Are you going to break more stuff or yeah. spill something? I don't even know if this does. You know what? Does. We're finished before you end up embarrassing I don't, I really yourself really don't know if this more is. on camera. It's just the thing. All right. W- what episode was this? 27. All right. So this was episode 27 of our podcast. Yep. Um, if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Did you like that video? If so, click here to check out more great content. Thank you for supporting the Clock Cleaners Podcast.